Hi there, welcome to Coffee with Coastal Cheryl. I have my coffee always iced. You know, you guys grab something to drink, grab a coffee, whatever, because we're just gonna sit here. Well, okay, we aren't gonna sit here and we aren't gonna chat. But I'm going to chat with you about faux plants. And right up from the front, I have to tell you, for years, I never had a fake plant fake plant, full plant, artificial plant, whatever you want to call it. I never had one in my house because let's face it, they were ugly. I mean, it's just been in the last few years that the people who make these full plants have really upped their game. And I have got some of my very favorites here. I really love these. I think you're going to also. They're all from Amazon. They're all quite affordable let's get started i've got a big variety too so hang in there all right first up i'm going to show you my very very favorite one if you're only going to buy one plant buy this one and then just shut down the the phone just the laptop whatever you're watching this on just buy this and you're done how cute is this let me show you up close this is a pothos plant and uh it's funny my grandmother I, that's why i love this plant uh she, this she had these in her house and i remember she gave me one years ago but she always called them philodendrons so until just a few years ago i'm embarrassed to say i have always been calling these philodendrons despite the fact that i was buying them in the store and it said pothos right on it i used to have a ton of these uh, in my houses in indiana and michigan I love them. So I'm really picky about good ones. This is the best one I found. Let me show you again. Look, look at how the leaves are different colors like they are in the real ones. Some are slightly lighter. Look at the little cute tendrils coming out. And this is a nice white ceramic pot. My favorite plant, if I were going to tell you to buy one plant here today, this would be the one. I love it. But when it comes, you know, it comes in a box. And it's kind of squished up like that. When I first pull it out, I'm like, eh, I don't know. So again, take it out, pull it apart, let it breathe. And you're going to love this little plant. My very favorite. I'm not even kidding. All right, second. This is also a pothos plant. But I, I will just tell you right now, I don't like this one as well as I do the other one. It is much bigger. Look at that. I mean, it's really pretty. I just personally, I think it's because it's the variegated leaves, which I know they're so pretty and people love them, but I think I like the other leaves better. These are um, very silky. Uh, the, this one though, the nice thing about it is look at the planter. I mean, I have uh, a guest bedroom that has got um, like a Tommy Bahama bed and this looks just gorgeous in there. But you can see, I mean, that is a nice, big generous plant so if you're looking for a larger one this would also look great like you know from um like a hanger a hanger so if you've got like you know a macrame hanger a jute hanger this would look so cute in it but really a nice plant i just happen to like the smaller one better all right next i'm going to show you the next three beside each other so you can get an idea of the size these are all three succulents look at that can you see the little pointy things? I mean, doesn't it look like if you touched it, it would hurt you? I mean, this is so cute. And I love too. see, see how the pot is so textured. I love that. It's so pretty. It has little pebbles in it. And this is such a good deal. Really a realistic looking plant. And then next, I'm just going to show you all three of these together. And oh, by the way, these will be in the order that I show them down below so you you'll always know just look in the order that i showed them so next look at this little snake plant and it'll say like you know snake plant um but look at that again textured it has got stone in it and doesn't that look realistic i just think these are the cutest plants all of these plants here let me look around i would give all of these a five i mean five out of five i love these plants look at this next one another succulent and again see it has the pebbles and then if you look at this one closely see how the tips are just ever so slightly red maybe that's not coming across but it makes it look so realistic and again i love the textured vases so cute look at these three 
Aren't these adorable? I love all three of these. All right, next. My husband says, you always say next. I'm like, well, what else would I say? I guess I could just say nothing. I could just say, of course I would say something anyway. I would say, okay, or I don't know. Next, <laughs> look at this cute set. This is a set and I love these. First, the, the pots are really cute. Gray and white, really pretty, but look at the plants. It looks like it's in dirt. I love that. And then this one, I swear, it looks like it's fuzzy. It's not, like as soon as I unwrap this, it's like, oh, I wanted to like touch this. Cause it, it looks like, like lamb's ear. It's not, it's, it, it just looks fuzzy. But I love this little set. Just so cute, you know, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, on a bookshelf, just a lovely little set. So affordable too. Love this. This one is from Worth Imports. And I will put that in the description, Worth Imports. So cute. All right, next, one of my very favorites, and I figured out why, and it is because um, my very favorite plant or flower is uh, daylily. And this reminds me of daylily leaves. If you guys have daylilies, you know exactly what I mean. Isn't that lovely? I love the graceful arch. And then again, it comes with the little stand, which you, you can use or not use. I, the thing I like about it is it gives you a little extra height so then you could put, you know, something lower underneath it, which is nice. But either way, this is really a pretty plant and just, I love the colors. Again, it's like a couple colors of green, not just one, but the thing I love most, just love the graceful arch of this plant. It's one of my very favorites. So cute. All right, the thing I love about this next set is that they're available in different colors. I wanna show you, I have them in black and white. So let me show you. And it's the same plant in all of these. So if you want different plants in each of yours, don't buy this set. But if you want a uniformity, this is a great set. Let me show you what the little, this is what the little plant looks like. It's really cute, little succulent. And again, it looks like there's potting soil in there. And these are kind of, not real shiny, kind of in between a matte and a gloss. This is the black set, obviously. And then it comes in white. And if you um, follow the link, you will see it also comes in other colors. But I like this. It doesn't take a lot of, of uh, space. And it, it's really great, especially for like a window ledge or again, a bookshelf. If you're trying to kind of balance it out, you could put these on different areas of the bookshelf and give it a little bit of uniformity. I like that, a little bit of balance. Just depends on what you're going for. All right, this next set is so cute. Look at these. How adorable is that? I love these. Each one of these plants is different. It's in a set of three. You've got, you've got the little snake plant. Aren't those just so sharp? It looks like you would hurt yourself on them. But look at the pots, each one. See, that is textured. That's not just paint. That is so pretty. I love that the plants are different in these. Just such a nice, affordable set. Look at that. Again, it reminds me it has the texture like a lamb's ear. This one does feel a little fuzzy. So cute. And then this looks like eucalyptus. Isn't that adorable? But I just is such a pretty set. If you're looking for a set in black and white, you cannot go wrong with this set. Really nice. All right, I'm avoiding saying next. What else would you say besides next? Coming up, what, what, what should I be saying? He's over there running the computer. What should I say besides next? That way you know I'm talking about the next thing, correct? I'll have to think about this. Give me, give me a suggestion in the comment. What can I say besides next? All right, look at this. I say all right a lot too. <laughs> it's funny, you start doing these things and you realize little words you say a lot, but you know, we all do that, so who cares? All right, look at this. It's a set of eight. And these are all different sizes. You have, well, you have two this size. You have two this size, two this size, and these two. But how cute are these? Let me show you up close. Look. 
see the little pebbles and each of these plants is different that's what i really love about these very realistic looking and what i love 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 is they threw in a little bit of purple with this one whenever i want to throw in just a little bit of color i do a lot of neutral decor in my home i love to add just a touch of, if it's a plant i love to add a touch of purple if it's you know just home decor accessories i like to add a touch of blue but i love that they've already added that touch of purple so this is such a cute set and there's so many of them again adorable i think this would make a great gift especially you know if you have somebody who likes succulents but maybe they don't have a green thumb <laughs> these are cute they look realistic and i love that they're all different really a pretty set next let's see these two how cute are these i'll show you these together too because they're roughly the same size this one is like a mixed fern i love ferns but see it has like some other little plant mixed in with it isn't that adorable and then the pot is just very matte not shiny very matte i love that um this is uh the name brand of this one is only f-i-f-i-u only fifi you i don't know but yeah, I'll have the description as a mixed fern. And then look at this. They call this one a fiddle leaf. It looks more like a pothos to me. But I think it's adorable because I love, see the, um, the pot is like a white ceramic. And it's got a little bit of a geometric vibe to it, if you can see. But I love the dark, dark green. I love the combination of bright white and dark green. Something about that always looks clean and inviting great for a bedroom or not bedroom great for a bathroom or your kitchen love this combination you see this in spas a lot you've heard me say that before if you follow me on uh, instagram or amazon or even even here all right next i have two of these these are so cute these are like little planters look at that one see each of the plants is slightly different but so so cute isn't that adorable and then that is a set of five in the wood planter this will be a set of three in the wood planter so you can differentiate aren't these adorable i mean seriously look at these obviously you don't have to use the wood planter you can get rid of that these are just little um cheap plastic pots i like them in the little planter because it's instant decorating set it on your window sill and you're done but how cute are those i love these little sets and they're a little, little bit rustic you know this little retro just so cute i love the wood on them isn't that nice just slightly whitewashed really pretty now if you're looking for some succulents with a little pink in them look at this adorable set I have to show you each one. Look how cute they are. Look at that. So adorable. This is the one that has the least pink, but still quite pink. Perfect for a little girl's room. It's not cute. Put these on a shelf or anywhere where you just want to add a little touch of color. Let's say you're decorating a tray and you want to add a little touch of color. Any kind of, you know, the window. I just think these are just so cute. They take up so little space. And it's just a subtle pop of color. I love that. This next set is similar in that they also have got a bit of pink in them. And this is a set of three. The others were six. And these are in wood planters. But see the touch of pink in these. Aren't these cute? Again, it's a, it's a set of three. I've got them pushed together just to show you. But I think these are the cutest little plants look at that adorable succulents set of three in wood planters all right i love this little set too look at this it's a set of four two of them are the same and uh well like you know these two are the same and these two are the same but look at the look at that look at the detail on that aren't those pretty they look just slightly dusty so cute again remind me of lamb's ear so if you want something that's just you know a soft green you don't really want the dark this is great especially for like neutrals if you want to put these you know if you have neutral home decor if you put these in a tray 
or on a counter, you know, the bathroom counter, this is just, just so subtle, just kind of a sagey green, really, really cute. And then look at this set of two. I love these because these seem kind of retro to me. Remember years ago, the terracotta plants, you know, or the planters, look at that. See the little terracotta pot? You used to see those all the time. These are actually textured. That's not paint on there, but these are both so pretty. Let me show you the cute little plant. Honestly, it's the pots that I love the most about these. And then there's the other pot. Look at that. I mean, the plants are cute too, but the pots, I'm all about these pots. This would be perfect for farmhouse decor. I love these, so cute. I mean, seriously, adorable terracotta set. All right, next. I love this one because it's great for a corner. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I like that it is two shades of green. I love the bright green tips. And then you've got the white ceramic textured little pot. Isn't that adorable? But isn't that cute? I mean, it just doesn't take up a lot of space, but it makes a lot of impact. Love this little plant. All right, two of my favorites I'm going to show you together. These are in sets of three. The first one, each of the plants are different. The first one is in uh, white ceramic pots. Let me show you the little plant. There we go. And then next, aren't these cute? I, I just, something, oh, and I gotta show you that too. Here, let me show you. Let me turn that around. Can you see the little, little sprouts coming up out? I mean, it makes it look so realistic and just so adorable. Love these for a bathroom, for your kitchen. I mean, again, you've got the white and green combination that I love. That is the first set, and I want to show you again with the white ceramic. And now here, these are clear glass, the same size, different companies, but roughly the same size plants. Just depends on what kind of vibe you're going for. Again, these are adorable. These also have, see the little sprouts? They have the stone and really cute plants. All three of these are so cute. Some of my very favorites. I mean, I love the little roots. I just, I'm a sucker for little details like that. I think it's so cute. Look at that. Adorable. So again, this is going to be the set of three in the white ceramic pots. This is gonna be the set of three in uh, clear glass. Again, these are gonna be in order of the way I show them. So I'll make it a little easier to find them. All right, next. This is one of my most popular, I have people asking about this little set all the time. Again, I love the color. It's just a subtle color. Again, these have that kind of flocked look like lamb's ear. Each plant is different. I like that they mixed it up. See, these are, look, aren't these pretty? And the little pots, they feel like concrete, these two. And then these, this is why I really love this set. Look at these. These look like sea urchins. I mean, I will just be honest, I didn't even know what a sea urchin was until I moved to Florida. So, you know, if you're from the Midwest like I was and you don't have any idea, you'll just have to trust me. Those look like sea urchins. <laughs> but I love the texture on there. That is just so cute. This is a great set for decorating a tray. Um, I love also just putting these like on a accent cabinet. Just so, so cute. Look at that set. One of the ones that I'm asked about most often, like on Instagram, I get a lot of messages about this little plant set. All right, now we've got two to go, you guys. And they, I love both of them. First, look at this beautiful snake plant. Look how tall it is. I love, again, the white ceramic pot. It looks like it is in potting soil. But look how tall that plant is. It is so pretty. You can see, you know, compared to me. But I love this. Again, great for a corner. It's not going to take up a lot of space, but it's going to add that splash of green. So pretty. One of my favorites. And next, if you do follow me on Instagram or you follow my Amazon storefront, you've seen this one. and Maybe you didn't even notice it. This one, uh, it's just a Monstera plant. And uh, this is always outside, 
we have a, a lanai out here we've got a, um, a pool and it's all screened in and this is always sitting out there i have two chairs and a table between them and this sits in between them i love this well for lots of reasons first look at the plant i mean isn't that pretty again the color is very just a bit but i love these plants so tropical looking the pot is just very simple very neutral so it's not going to clash the thing i love about this one in particular is it's quite heavy i mean so i put this outside and we have ours is covered so if you have like a covered patio a covered porch this would work great i wouldn't put it out in full sun because i think it'll just it'll fade it like crazy i could be wrong but i would not recommend it but the nice thing again about this is because we you know it can get windy in florida and uh, i never worry about this i just leave it sit out there because this is a nice heavy pot and i don't ever have to worry about it i just you know dust it off once in a while with a damp sponge and that's it carefree it's never gonna die like all of these plants <laughs> so i'm telling you uh, you know these uh full plants artificial plants fake plants whatever you want to call them they have come a long way and i have so many that i love i'm so happy i got to share them with you today if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up uh, you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you like again i do a lot of farmhouse decor coastal decor and neutral decor so i'm all about that i'd love to have you give me a follow so until next time thanks again for joining me see you then